Carey, Jolie Fisher, Michael J. Fox, and mix them with Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, Goofy. The answer, you'll find out right now. Because the happiest place on earth is launching a huge, huge 25th anniversary celebration. We're, we're going to see unbelievable parades, nighttime fireworks, new attractions, and a steady stream of stars like Drew Carey, for example. Hey, How you doing, Drew? Great, man. How are you? Good. It's Drew right. Carey, everybody. Thanks. <laughs> what do you think of all this? I think it's great, man. I, I love Disney World. It's one of my favorite places to come. I, I, came, I didn't come here until I was almost, until I was over 30 for the first time. So I just like the adult side, you know. Uh, like, I hardly ever go to the Magic Kingdom. I go to Epcot Center, and I went to the, the, the Disney Institute, and I took all these great courses. I'm bringing the whole cast here this summer, or after the show wraps. Flying uh, out myself. Well, what is it? What, if you had to pick one thing, what is your favorite thing here? Uh, the World Showcase at Epcot Center. That's my favorite thing. Uh, really great meals, and you can drink. And, <laughs> and also Pleasure Island. I like drinking at Pleasure Island. This is like the party in its place, man. I'm telling you, there's no lie. So that's why it's the happiest place on Earth? To no. me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but there is. I mean, there's something for everybody. I mean, if you're a kid, there's all the kid rides. And if you're an adult, I mean, you can go bass fishing. I rented a, a speedboat and went on the lake. You can go sailing, snorkeling. I mean, uh, parasailing. There's all these things you can do as a grown-up. And I, I came here. I've never been here with a kid. And I've had, always had a great time. What would you do you know? today? Uh, today I did interviews all day. <laughs> <laughs> but I still had the best time I ever had. No, I mean, the interviews, that was, today was like a weird day, because it was the, this whole time I'm here, because so all I do is interviews. But when I'm here, I, I went to the Disney Institute last time I was here. I took three days' worth of tennis lessons. Uh, my girlfriend I was here with to golf for three days' worth of golf lessons. Oh, and they have like seven beautiful golf courses in the whole property. It's 33 square miles of land. They have a miniature golf course here that's made with real grass. The Fantasia Golf And that's court. very rare. Oh, know. man, it's unbelievable. It's so beautiful. All right, and we look at this crowd tonight for our show. I know. This is all just to see E, a matter of fact. They don't even know what else is here. They, <laughs> yeah, they, they just heard E was here, and the Disney World happened to be, and they, they're just mm. happy to see you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I have some interesting facts for you. Okay. Did you know that 46 million Cokes have been served here since the opening in 1971? Get out of here. Absolutely. And from that day until now, 500 million visits have been made by the likes of President Clinton. Yeah. Princess Di, eh. John Lennon, woo, yep, and yes, even Fabio has been here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so now, as they say here, let's remember the magic. Oh, nice. <laughs> Welcome to a little bit of Florida here in California. This is where the early planning is taking place for our so-called uh, Disney World project. It was back in 1965 when Walt Disney went public with his plans to build a theme park in Orlando, Florida. We're now developing a master plan that encompasses the theme park and all the facilities around it that will serve the tourists. Hotels, motels, and a variety of recreation activities. In fact, just this little area alone is five times the size of Disneyland in California. Mickey Goofy and the gang would have a bigger playground in Florida. But it will duplicate the best of Disneyland, including Adventureland, Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Tomorrowland. Construction began in the late 1960s, and when opening day came in 1971, not everything was finished, but that didn't deter hundreds of people from lining up October 1st to visit Disney World on the first day. The official opening didn't take place until later that month. The man behind it all? Walt Disney wasn't there. He had passed away five years before from cancer. Roy Disney remembered his brother at the dedication. Walt Disney World is a tribute to the philosophy and the life of Walter Elias Disney. And to the talents, the dedication, and the loyalty of the entire Disney organization that made Walt Disney's dream come true. May Walt Disney World bring joy and inspiration and new knowledge to all who come to this happy place. 
The happy place has grown tremendously since 1971. Besides the Magic Kingdom, there's Epcot and Disney MGM Studios, and a fourth park is in the works. And we're going to announce that we're going to present a wild animal kingdom on 500 acres just west of our north-south road. Visitors can check out Disney's Animal Kingdom starting in the spring of 1998. Besides visiting Walt Disney World, you can enjoy the parks with the Walt Disney World Explorer, a new CD-ROM. To select a tour, click on one of these signs. We wanted to create a reference product that allowed people to experience something as opposed to just go and get information. As you explore this product, you're going to see some things about Walt Disney World that you have not seen before. We allow you to peek behind the curtain. You get a combination of photographs, video, animations, or a game. So whatever you turn to is alive and moving and active. That's one way to see the park. Here's another way. Since the world began, I guess this is a history, by Jeff Curdy. You want to pick this thing up? I was flipping through it. Some pretty amazing stuff. So check that out. We have to take a break. The parade is coming this way. And still ahead, we've got that, of course. More fun, stars, and the most terrifying place in the Magic Kingdom. Look at this parade. This is unbelievable. I just saw Bob Hope go by, Michael J. Fox. There's Ben Savage right there. This is great. You know, this isn't such a small world after all. Actually, it's 43 square miles, the same size as San Francisco, and twice the size of Manhattan. Except in Manhattan, the rides are much scarier, of course. A place this huge calls for a huge dedication, one which first occurred 25 years ago when Walt Disney World began as just one Magic Kingdom and two hotels. The same ceremony took place again, presided over by a Disney head honcho, Michael Eisner, I just call him Mike, and Roy Disney, I was kidding about that, Walt's nephew. Disney World is a tribute to the philosophy and life of Walter Elias Disney, and to the talents, the dedication, and the loyalty of the entire Disney organization that made Walt Disney's dream come true. May Walt Disney World bring joy and inspiration and new knowledge to all who come to this happy place, a magic kingdom where the young at heart of all ages can laugh and play and learn together. Dedicated this 25th day of October, 1971, by Roy O. Disney. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome First Lady of the United States, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Escorted by Governor of the State of Florida, Lawton Childs. For encouraging each of us to follow our own dreams and for making children the heart and soul of all your endeavors. Happy, happy birthday, Walt Disney World. Look at this. And I'm with Mickey. How, how cool is it for me? I'm hanging with Mickey. But I'm the happiest man on Earth. Mickey Mouse, Michael J. Fox. Yeah, it's kinda, it kind of sounds like one of that, like a Disney character, doesn't it? Michael, yeah. Michael J. Fox. Kind of my Brer's, uh, Brer's uh, brother. Now, I know something that you might not know. You, maybe you do. Uh, you know a lot of things I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I already know that about you. Well, I know that this guy, this cat, this mouse, can move. Yeah, Mickey, he... show this crowd. Come on. Go, Mickey. You go, Mickey. Go, Mickey. Uh -huh. That's right. Go, Mickey. Go what do you think of all this? This is great. I'm just, I just, uh, I, I, was, I was, as I was going down there, I, 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 uh, I didn't know how it would be. And then you turn that corner, and you're up there with Mickey, and you're coming down, you know, this road, and there's confetti flying down, and you're going, America, 
I love it. It's I great. have arrived, huh? I have arrived. My son, I just kept thinking my son is going to beam when he sees this footage. He's just going to be so... You with jazzed. Mickey Mouse? Me with Mickey. I'm hanging with Mickey. Is he watching this? Does he watch E? He will now. <laughs> my, all, my, all my wife watches is E, so... Well, I guess the downside would be that they didn't get a chance to come with you this time. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, he has this thing called school. And, they, <laughs> yeah. and, you know, and then they'd see him on E and he'd get busted, and, you know, it wouldn't be so good. But yeah, he couldn't really I'm make gonna, up I'm the gonna, story. I'm going to definitely bring him back. All right, now, what did you have to do to get in the car with Mickey, the big star here? Uh, it, it was a matter of height compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it was? That's how it was. It was just like, yeah, okay, we need Mickey with somebody that's not going to show him up. What do you think of our setup? I thought we'd just have a little set here. It's like a stage. Hey, E-Rates. You come a long way from the, the movie channel. <laughs> or whatever, it, whatever it used to be called. And now what's next? Tell us about the night's uh, festivities. Oh, tonight? I think we go up here for a big party, and, uh, and we hang out, and we schmooze with, uh, with all, all the plush uh, uh, stars. I see Tigger over there. Tigger's already partying. Now, the crowd went nuts when Mickey Mouse danced. But watch this. Hey, can we hear a little something from Michael J. Fox here? Yeah. I, I did the Macarena, Macarena like, like, who is it? Like uh, Al Gore. There. <laughs> See? Are they good? All right, you know what? Listen to this, you're going to like it. Nighttime at Walt Disney World is a spectacle of light and sound. I like it. All right? It sounds like I'm going to something, right? Yeah, you, you, where are you going? I'm going to a break. I just have to tease him so they don't go anywhere. All right. We'll be right back. I'm really excited to see him. I'm a fan. He's going nuts. We are back. Of course, we are in Walt Disney World. This is the 25th anniversary. I'm sharing a stage with Tigger and Miss America. How you doing? Great. How are you? Good. Good. Now, you see, I don't know because I was standing here doing a show, and uh, plus I wasn't invited. I don't know what it was like to ride down this street. Now, describe it for me. It's incredible. The crowd's going wild. There's confetti falling out of the sky. It's just wonderful. Now, as Miss America, you have a lot of things to do, a lot of different uh, events you go to and so forth. How does this rate? Oh, this is, there's nothing like Disney World. <laughs> Disney World can put on a show like nobody else. Did you, did you hit any uh, attractions today? No, I wasn't able to. I flew in from New York just tonight, so I just barely got here in time. All right, well, tomorrow morning, what are you headed to first? I first am dedicating the boardwalk. So I'm very excited about that. I get to sing with the Dapper Dans and make a dedication for the boardwalk. You know, uh, tiggers like to bounce. That's what they do. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> now, now is, is, there, is there a connection here? Is Tigger one of your favorites? How do they decide who rides with who? I'm not quite sure how they made the decision, but I love Tigger. Tara and Tigger. Oh, come on, go ahead. Come on, share the love. <laughs> All right, look at this crowd is great, too. Guys, let's hear it for Tigger and Miss America. All right, you know what? 25 years of Walt Disney World have just flown by like magic. Mm -hmm. So let's now go to the Orlando Arena to kick off the festivities with a night of magical dreams. Ah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Folks, how you doing? Art Man here. Where am I? I am outside the Orlando Arena. Inside, a night of magical dreams. That's right, it's the big kickoff festivities for the 25th anniversary of Disney World. We're going to go inside. Yes, be our guest. What a way to roll out the red carpet. Wouldn't you know it? Disney dust. Even that glitters. <laughs> but talk to me about this song. Remember the magic. Oh, wow, man. Uh, it's probably the third time I've done a song that I didn't write and produce. And uh, the people at Disney were asking me to do it, and I was like, well, usually I'd push to say, you know, 
I need to write, I need to produce it, you know, it's, you know, so I can really, but when I heard the song, I was like, wow, you know, I can do this, I'm feeling it. You know, we've all, mostly everybody, I'm sure, has been to Disney, and they understand that, you know, it doesn't matter how you feel, doesn't matter what's going on that day, when you get here to Disney, and it must be something, the way they paint the stuff, or the, the dust that Tinkerbell is, you know, spewing all over the place, but you leave the place feeling so much better about yourself and life in general, and, and, and inspired. Now, I don't know much about music, but it looked like at one moment there, there you yeah. were actually in danger of your ears bleeding. <laughs> Did you feel pressure in your head at times? Sometimes I feel like I'm going to explode in the middle of the show, you know. Yeah, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to die happy blowing it home. <laughs> <laughs> That's my life, and I, I'm going to die happy as that happens. <laughs> You know, tell, tell us a little bit about this uh, Disney Institute. I understand you have a lot to do with that. Yeah, I'm an artist in residence, and I came quite often to teach and spend some time with students and playing. And um, I have been involved with, with Disney since I came to the country. And I'm very proud, very pleased, and happy to be involved with those people because I admire them and respect very much. They do a lot for art in general, for, for a lot of beautiful things in life. Your nickname, actually, was the happiest man on earth, right? Yeah, well, I, I got a chance to sing with beautiful <laughs> women like Regina Troop, who is here, right? Who's standing over. right here? Come on over, <laughs> Regina. I get, the, I get the opportunity to sing with beautiful women who sing very well and, um, and also that men admire and all that. I, I like that stuff. <laughs> there was people. There's Regina and people. No. There they go. That show was great. I took in the show, got myself a Mickey Mouse balloon everyone's talking about. These things are pretty cool. <laughs> but that's it. And people said, Art, you've seen A Night of Magical Dreams. You got a Mickey Mouse balloon. What next for you? Come on, I'm going to Disney World. It's right up the road. It's time now to play Jeopardy, ladies and gentlemen. And Art, the answer for Final Jeopardy is Disney World. You come up with a question. <laughs> Disney World, the question is, what place can you smile all day long? And where's the place to be all this week, particularly with this 25th anniversary? You notice who they had me ride in the car with? The smartest Disney character <laughs> of the whole bunch, Rafiki. Now, I, has that been tested, though? Oh, yes. Yes, Rafiki told me himself. He said, I'm it. Because that's unofficial. Because I'll think i tell you, Tigger's got it uh, upstairs. Wait a minute. You got, <laughs> What kind of stuff have you been drinking tonight? <laughs> Ra Tigger, smarter than Rafiki? No way. You know what it must be? Tigger's it's on a par with Eeyore. <laughs> oh, Eeyore knows. He knows how to play it. But you know what I think it is? I think it's heat stroke, actually. Because uh, this is no uh, air-conditioned Jeopardy set, my friend. No, but this is a great place to be, and it's fun to be surrounded by all these characters. I hope my kids are watching in the hotel room tonight to see who I'm associating with. I mean, I'm riding with Rafiki. And uh, Art Man for me. And, and Art Man. They're big fans of yours, too. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, now what is it, though? Because you, you seem to know all the, you actually know all the questions. Yes. But what is it, though? What is it about this place? This place? This place allows people of all ages to be kids again and to behave like kids and not feel embarrassed about it. And that's really the secret and the magic of Disney World, Disneyland, Euro Disney, and Tokyo Disney. You summed it up. That's it. I, I would not challenge that. All right. Thanks, Art. Thank you, sir. Rafiki. You guys are off. We're going to party. <laughs> Let's go. They're off to the party, but standing by in the wings is Corbin Burnson. Look at this. Stepping out to the big E stage. How you doing? I'm doing great. Good Just to see great. you. Good to be here. All right. What was that ride like coming down the street? Well, psychedelic. I mean, all that stuff coming down, all the characters, you know, I mean, I'm a grown-up guy, but there was Buzz Lightyear, you know, still standing there and Goofy doing the Goofy thing. I mean, this is, and, and I, you know, I thought, well, my kids should be here. And I thought, no, uh, no, forget my kids. This is great. I'm, I'm digging this. Yeah, that's the thing about this place is you can, when you're here alone, you wish your kids are with you, but you actually end up having a good time and feeling like a kid. Yeah, you do. I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, this is, uh, I grew up, I, I have a philosophy in life, and it, it comes from two people, really. 
The Beatles are two, two groups of people, the Beatles and the whole Disney family. And then between those two I, is all the magic in the world. And you know what the good part is? You are working right near here, aren't you? I am. I'm working right down the, right down the coast. Uh, thank you for helping me with that show, yeah. Uh, we're doing a show called The Cape uh, about 40 miles from here at uh, NASA. And uh, so, you know, I've, I've come here. This is about my fourth time here in so many weeks. <laughs> Do you have a season pass? No, I don't have a season pass yet, but they, they allow me on every now and then if I promise to come oh. and be nice. See, that's nice. Corbin Burnson gets in for free. I am a local resident. <laughs> I'm a Disney resident. You see who's waiting in the wings here? Look at this. Yeah, Minnie. Yeah, I had a picture taken with Minnie and got my wife very jealous. No, I met John Denver. Well, I did a picture with John Denver and got my wife very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Corbin Burnson, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is excellent. One celebrity after another. Minnie, please. Minnie, my dear. Mm, oh. And John Denver. Art, how are you? Good. How you doing? Well, I'm so I'm the luckiest guy in this park. Are you kidding me? You I are. got Minnie Mouse on my arm. I, well, I look out, I see a crowd, and I see they're green with envy. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Oh man, look. Take a look. Come on, come on, you guys. Come on out here. Take a peek around. Look see, at this. They're, all, they're very excited. Yes, I know. I Big know. John Denver fans. Well, I think they're Minnie Mouse fans, and they see that I am the luckiest guy in the park. Now, this place, obviously, we've been talking about smiling here, we've been talking about the memories, but does this inspire you to maybe write so, a song about this place? Well, I think the thing is the magic. You know, they speak about the re remember the magic on this occasion, and what I always remember is the magic that each one of us is, the magic that lives in each one of us. And, uh, and yeah, in, in that regard, it's very, very inspiring. I, you know what? I, it's a pleasure to meet you, of course, sir, but I still cannot believe it's Minnie Mouse right now, here. Listen, don't tell Mickey. Oh. Okay? I got into real trouble with Kermit the Frog when I, Miss Piggy and I got to be friends, and I don't want anything to happen here. All right. All right. Okay. Don't worry. No one's watching. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. All right. All you know right. what? Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you, Minnie. Thank you, Mr. Thanks Denver. Right. There they go. Excellent. Oh you know, listen to this. This is almost like a song. You're going to like this. It's a world of laughter, a world of tears. It's a world of hope and a world of fears. I'm describing the Tower of Terror, of course, and I'll take you there when we come back. We are back. Of course, it is Walt Disney World's 25th birthday. Shusha is here. How you doing? Hi. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Me too. And then this guy, a lot of people think I'm him. A lot of times they say, hey, Goofy, get over there. <laughs> How you doing? Goofy is here. All right, now describe this for us. I mean, obviously, we have a lot of cameras here. We're trying to cover this event. There's confetti everywhere. But give us a first-hand experience. What's going on? Uh, it's nice. It's nice. First of all, it's nice to be here, you know? And first of all, I think the second is good because it's, um, this place is magic. It's fantasy, but it's real, you know? And so I, I have been working for children for 13 years in Brazil, in Argentina, in Spain. And this is great. I think it, the world for this is fantastic. What's your favorite ride here? It's, well, I love him. Yeah, you love Goofy. I love him. In Portuguese, you have to say pateta. In my language, you don't say Goofy, say Pateta. So I love him. When I came here, I said, I have to see Goofy. So I had the luck to be close to him and be part of this big party. It's so nice. It is unbelievable. And it, I'm excited, of course, a lot of uh, stars here, a lot of celebs. But I'm meeting all the, uh, all the Disney characters, it's like great. Goofy. And I just met Minnie Mouse. It's a good time. It is. All right, you guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Where'd you get that balloon? I, they gave me. They gave me an opportunity to be close to Pateta, Goofy, and Baloo and everything, so it's great. Free balloons, Corbin Burnson's not paying to get in. This place is great. It's amazing. Bye. Thank you very much. All right, folks, picture this if you will. A handsome, dedicated television journalist is trapped in Walt Disney World's tallest attraction. He is forced to ride it over and over so he can show it to you from every angle. Will he ever escape from the Tower of Terror? 
Well, if he keeps doing this bad impression, you'll hope he doesn't. But at 199 feet, the Tower of Terror is the tallest attraction at Walt Disney World. Look at this, folks. The Hollywood Tower Hotel. But we're not in Hollywood. We're at Disney MGM Studios in Florida. So you know, something's a little hokey about this place. It's an actual thrill ride. It's the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror! <laughs> you were about to discover what lies uh, beyond the fifth dimension. Dude, we're dying. the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination in the Tower of Terror. Oh, man. Keep going up and up and up. Oh, come on! No! I gotta get a studio show, man. big long parade of celebs isn't it indeed it is Sharon Lawrence how you doing I'm fine I just got to ride in a beautiful 1970 Oldsmobile baby blue mm. and I saw a sight I've never seen before it was incredible with the confetti coming down did you happen to get a shot for your your viewers of yeah, what it was like being in a car oh it was gorgeous we're trying to bring them everything because if they're watching this at home they haven't been down here yet Right. And uh, we want them to come down and see it. Well, I wish I'd had a camera. I should have thought about it and asked you if I could have had my own little steady cam, and I would have given you all a shot of a lifetime. And then to pull up here at Man's Chinese Theater, it didn't matter if it's in California or Florida. It was incredible. Did you get to ride with a character? No, I didn't. Well, my driver was kind of a character. <laughs> <laughs> he was a nice guy, though. Now, how is the, how's the crowd here? I noticed that the, the oh, people that come to Disney great. World. Great. Yeah. They're all here to have a great time. You can tell the authenticity and the pleasure and the joy. I see some kids from Nashville, Tennessee right over here. Nashville! Oh, where's Nashville? Well, there's the <laughs> sign. Maybe they all went back already. I don't know. But it's just a sea of smiles yeah, out there. Look it's at great. That. People are truly, truly happy to celebrate this. And so am I. I'm honored to be here. And I think for those of us who watch Disney World grow to be 25 years old, really have the pleasure of seeing its evolution. The kids are enjoying it, but they don't know what 25 years really means yet. And those of us who do, you know, it's, it, it's, it's an honor. Describe the first time you came here. I was 13 years old, and uh, we actually took a train from North Carolina all the way down here, and there was a streaker on the train, which was a very weird way to start a trip to Disney World. <laughs> you won't see that here. No, no, but I saw Cinderella's Castle, and literally, I ran. I ran to it. At least today, I, I stopped myself from doing that. I would have bounced right off one of those pink walls. But you wanted to run, <laughs> I didn't did want to run, yeah. All right, you know what? We're going to take a break. Ready? Thank you so much Thank for stopping you. by. Thank you. It's nice to meet you, Art. Oh, Take it's, care. it's nice just to be here. Yeah, the show's going to end. We're all still here. You're right. We're lucky. Come down to visit. It's worth the trip. All right. After the break, you're going to see Aladdin, The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, oh, wow. Simba, all in one place. Simba? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to wait then. <laughs> talking about a big fantasy. When we come back. I didn't have a party like this when I turned 25, and these guys certainly didn't show up. And if you watch Home Improvement, you know them both. Hi, how are you? Zach, Darren, how you doing? Darren, all right, guys, what do you think? First of all, I know it's hot. I, I'm, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. I, I think it's, it's great. I mean, I love the crowd. They're all out there having fun, and that's all that matters, right? Because this is a celebration, so. Yep. What'd you guys, what, what rise have you hit today? Anything? Oh, uh, let's see. Today, I haven't had any rise, actually, but I did. <laughs> Come on, guys. I did go swimming in the yacht club pool, and I uh, did do a little boat driving. Well, what are you going to make sure to do before you leave? Tower of Terror. <laughs> and Alien Encounter, uh, of course. Space Mountain, of course. Space Mountain, you got to always hit that. All of them, all of them. <laughs> but I was watching as you guys climbed up here. How do you get through a crowd? The crowd was going crazy for you guys. 
Uh, uh, <laughs> well, there were stairs where the crowd wasn't there, so we just walked through. I mean, it, it's, it's fun. You're yeah, you want right. to please the crowd, so we, you know, we signed in some autographs. Tons All right, you're going to please the crowd. You guys uh, want to go over there and sign some autographs? We'll get everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks for dropping by. Hey, nice you. to meet both you guys. Nice meeting you. Excellent. There they go. Come on, crowd. Let's hear it for these guys. Look at this. It's a runaway train going on here. It's Jolie We're Fisher. Up here. Jolie Fisher. <laughs> How are you? Our surprise celebrity guest. <laughs> I just came through the plants over here. <laughs> it was a nice entrance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank the, you. The car thing was good, but that was better. You know, I just figure I love a parade, but hey, an entrance like that I can't pass up. <laughs> you know what? You, you stand out here and you almost want to do comedy or sing. Or Two do a cartwheel. Right, three things that I can't do. There you go. But come on, just let them hear that singing voice. Give me, give me like a Disney classic or something. <laughs> when you wish upon a star, Woo! makes no difference who you are. Wow! Wow! I'm wilting though. Can you tell this? I, it's so hot out here. I can't believe it. It's still summer. But the funny part is, is anywhere else, if it were this hot. You would just go in your hotel room and sit there. Exactly. Here, you don't even care. You want to be amongst the people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now this is cool, because I understand we had talked earlier. You're going to do some stage diving here. <laughs> no, that's right. not me. Got some false the information. The Lawrence brothers are doing some stage diving, <laughs> yeah. I think. They're a lot younger than I am. I'm All going right. now. I'm okay. going now because other people You're are leaving. waiting. And there, you have a slew of celebrity All guests. All right. All right. All right, if you must leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it was a pleasure. Thank, Thank you, so you for, much. for popping in. I'm going that way. Jolie Fisher. See ya. Bye. Come, come on out. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? What a Erica, night. you know what? This, this is. I am probably uh, the happiest I've been <laughs> in a long time. Why just so? coming here, it just makes oh, you happy. Some good. of the words people are using: magical, yep. Yep. Uh, happiest. Oh. Give me some more. It's been extraordinary, just fabulous. It is joyful, it is fantastic, it is magical. Yeah, that's one of your words. But it's, it's just been an all-around sensational experience with the Boys and the Girls Club that are here, the kids are here. They are so happy, they're so excited all the time. And it's wonderful, and all these people and this wonderful parade, I've never ridden in a car parade like that. It was fabulous. That was your first one. That was my first one. Boy, am I glad it was at Disney World. A lot of people are kind of looking back, being a big 25th anniversary yeah. celebration. Yeah. Describe your first visit for me. To Disney World? Yeah. The, I came with a friend many years ago, but I guess the most important visit is when I brought my children for the first time, because you see it all through their eyes. The first time I came, I came with another adult, a friend, and I said to her at the time, I said, you know, they should have a service at the front gate. It should be called Rent-A-Kid. So you should be able to rent a child yeah. for the day and take the kid with you everywhere because you see so much more through the children's eyes. But well, you know what I find? You actually find yourself staring at the kids, oh, yeah. not at the, yeah. the ride itself. Sure, you're constantly going, look at her looking at Goofy. Oh, I know. It's great. Can you do that voice again? Look at her looking at Goofy. <laughs> Thank you so much for okay. stopping by. My pleasure. Oh, and the crowd's going to go nuts as you leave, of course. Look at them. Oh, we're having a great time. You know what? There's a lot of good stuff coming up, so you folks aren't going to want to tune away. You know what I, I haven't said yet that you have to say when you come here? Bippity bobbity boo. Bippity bobbity boo. All right, those Disney people, they are one imaginative bunch. Only they could create the earful tower, right? Anybody know the hat size on this? 342. Interesting fact for me, free. The golf security guy. All right, you know what? When we come back, we're going to see giant floats. We're going to see 100 Disney performers. What's that? Oh, they want to see it now. All right, let's see it now. You guys can't wait, can you? All right, we'll see it now. I'll make it happen. Pull some strings. Here it is, folks. It's called, you want to know what it's called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Magical Parade. That's what it's called. Remember? Can you remember the way it used to feel?
After the break, more Disney characters, more celebrities, more magic, of course, and some merchandise. <laughs> brothers are here. Come on. <laughs> Guys are going nuts for you. Now, let's talk about some of the attractions here. What's your favorite? My favorite was probably the uh, Tower of Terror that we just went on. It was, you know, it's new and everything. They got the new drop, second drop or something, so it's pretty fun. Well, because, you know, I haven't been on many rides yet, so, so far, Tower of Terror, because that's the only ride I've been on so far, so. All right. Yeah. There's still time. You're going to agree? I'm going to have to agree, yeah. Uh -huh. And this, in, at the MGM, this, you know, studios is definitely a Tower of Terror, yeah. Now, um, how many times have you guys been here? Oh, quite, quite a few. You know, we've been, we've been coming here for a long time. Yeah, like six times, I think. It's, we come here often. <laughs> That's great. Now, do you still remember that first time, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Hey, what happened? What happened? Did you guys get lost? Did you have a place to meet? Because when you first get here, you need a place to meet, Yeah, right? I know. It's so big. It's, uh, it's amazing. I know. It's massive. It's ma you know, it's more of a of a family time for us, though. You know, we kind of yeah. come down here and we do the family thing, and uh, it's a blast. You know, we eat at all the great restaurants. They have at Epcot, and we come here and walk around, and, you know, we go to Magic Kingdom and do all the, all the rides. The kids love to do that, so it's fun. All right, and when they walk around, you know what happens when people see them. <laughs> thanks, you guys. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good time. All right, thanks. I want to show you folks at home some very interesting stuff. Bring this stuff over here. Some merchandise. I'm gonna drop this, probably worth fortunes. Just look at some of this stuff. This is the uh, Magic Castle, 25 magical years, look at that. Collector's item. Anybody game? <laughs> I'm not, it's like 40 pounds, I'm not throwing it. And this, look at this thing. Just some items we found walking around. Little hat, oh, put that on you said? Oh yeah, I'm not hot enough, I'll throw on the, uh, right. And of course, I have this, which I am not giving back. No, come on, it's a great coat. All right, it's a special anniversary. I'm, giving to get, I'm gonna give it to this guy because he has the E T-shirt, right there with the E T-shirt. Come on, buddy. No, that guy with the E T-shirt gets it. No, give it to the E guy, come on. All right, it's one gigantic party here. People are fighting over coats. Things are going crazy. You know what, it's gonna continue through next year, but this commercial won't, so stay with us. anniversary deserves a real blowout party, right? And that's what's going to happen at the Disney MGM Studios Brown Derby. That's right, right over, which way, that way? That's right. After a star-studded motorcade, revelers are going to do the disco Donald Duck. Anybody know this dance? Me neither. But they're going to do it to the sounds of, the vi of village people and the Pointer Sisters. There's a combo. All right, it's nothing like the YMCA. It's Walt Disney World. The happiest place on earth! To 
be sitting at a table with Bob Hope and to see all these celebrities, it's just, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's, 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 a, it's a great night and I'm glad to be a part of it. I think you're the guy who can maybe tell us about the future. What's coming up? Well, we've got more than you can talk about in an hour special, but they just give you a couple of highlights. Uh, we've got the Animal Kingdom coming up, which will be 600 acres on property, a fourth gate. It's going to be what we consider to be I guess if you have to describe it, one of the great zoological projects of all time. If you were going to be stuck in any ride, which okay. one would you want it to be? And it, it, it would still be moving. Yeah. I could stick all the time. Going around, yep. Eventually you dance, but you're I stuck think, okay. for a little while. The teacups. Teacups? Yes, I just like that circular motion. <laughs> yeah, but come on, trapped in the teacups, you're gonna, you would get sick, wouldn't you? Not me. Yeah, not I you, would I would. I get sick. <laughs> you give me some, uh, some thoughts on that, Tower of Terror. Um, it's, I think it's the, uh, it's the twin drop that does it for me. And then back to the top again. That's yeah. it, it does a little fakey drop. Yeah, just when you think, okay, that's right, you know, well, you, you then know you've got to go up one more time. Now, you didn't do that after the surf and turf, did you? Uh-uh. No, no. <laughs> came straight ahead. When Michael Eisner walks through Walt Disney World, what types of things do people say to you? Well, most people are really appreciative about the kinds of things we've done. Everybody's very polite and... Uh, I guess because I've done some television and introduced our movies, uh, they recognize me and uh, they're very, very nice. I've never had a harsh word said, at least not here. <laughs> We're building two state-of-the-art cruise ships. It'll be the two, probably one, probably the first or second largest cruise ships in the world. They're going to be Disney environments for families and tied into the resort. With Mickey and Minnie Goofy all on board? All the characters on board. Oh, man. Maybe you can... Uh... You can score some food or some shrimp or something. Uh, the, the quesadillas are what I recommend. Quesadillas? Yep. Or the uh, quesadilla, Cops. goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> You're eating some of that raw fish? I didn't eat any. I only eat certain kinds of sushi. Yeah, I like the kind that's cooked. Me too. All right. <laughs> We've got a great film slate coming out, Joe Roth's groups. We've got Ransom coming out with Mel Gibson. We've got 101 Dalmatians with Glenn Close. That's and a lot of Dalmatians. That's the one I want to see. Though. Yeah. And uh, we've got Hercules next summer. And we've got Evita coming out Christmas Day. Big we've snap. got uh, Penny Marshall's movie with Denzel Washington and Whitney Houston, Preacher's Wife. So we're going to have a big fall. And we've got a lot to look forward to. Is my skull too large for this? Yeah. He's <laughs> saying, yeah. Sound guy's like, yeah. That is it. Thank you, Walt Disney World, for having us. Thank you for watching. Hope you had a good time, and I'll see you later. Check out these fireworks.